Alright, we're back for another Legends reveals and stuff. This is number 31. Hopefully some draggable status stuff. Alright, here we go. Come on, Toshi, fix the game. Let's see how you fix the game. Hello, everyone. I'm Toshi. Oh, right, subtitles. Dragon Ball Legends. Thanks for joining me today. It's time to kick off reveals and stuff. I'd like to start by asking how everyone's been enjoying the We've Surpassed 80 Million Users Worldwide Thanks to You episode campaign, Frieza Saga Z, that started the other day. My lord, that's a fucking mouthful. Continue, Jace and Birder, the Raccoon and Goldo that we have introduced during our last show. Made I only got Raccoon and Goldo. I didn't get uh, Ginyu or Jace. I didn't even summon for these two. <laughs> it was just not... Join the fight they were not like exciting at all to me. I just do not care for them. Maybe Gohan and Krillin, but otherwise not. Effort into the Ginyu Force and their unique poses, so we hope you're having fun with them. Of course, that includes when Ginyu fails to revive and turns into a frog. Yeah, I love that gimmick. He has a chance to fuck up the revive. That's so good. Have great synergy when placed in the same party. So be sure to acquire all three and make a team. Yeah, because they're all the same. Well, they can all rock every single element in the game. Saga, who we hadn't heard from in quite a while, arrived as a new summonable character. It's easy to build up this Goku's unique gauge so you can quickly boost the damage yeah. by Goku's arts. It goes without saying that this character is powerful and its blue element makes it a good match against Vegeta. As strong as the abilities are, the graphics on this character are really something to behold. This summon is still going on, so be sure not to... No, I ain't summoning for that shit. ...of reveals and stuff, we're bringing you the latest info on the episode campaign, Dragon Ball Saga, that started the other day... Why is Bro built like Aoko from, <laughs> from Melty Blood? Season 2 of the ongoing Beat the Heat Summer Non-Stop Raid will start tomorrow. The rewards can net you up to 700 Chrono Crystals per raid, and if you combine that with Season 1, that's 1,400 Chrono Crystals in total. Oh, that's cool, I guess. Use of battle bonus characters so you can get every last crystal. I mean, 700 is quite a good number. Oh, fuck off, I hate Hoi Poi. We're holding a Hoi Poi event. Unlike the one Are they making it good again, or are they just going to make it shit like it was last time? Where it was like a 1 in fucking 900 chance that you get like anything decent. Hoi coin drop rates or drop amounts. So make a party with those characters and you'll be able to open a ton of capsules. Hoi Poi coins can be obtained through a number of different events, so don't miss this opportunity to get lots of items. Here's what's next. Let's head out on a mystical adventure is coming soon. Each stage of this event has required characters, meaning that it follows the same structure as Perilous Clash Namek from last month. I'm so bored. Required characters this time. You can probably tell by looking at the characters we've selected. Oh my god. Organized in the order <laughs> oh my god. The rewards you can get are the same as usual. Launch is gonna sweep. And slot removers. This is a permanent event with no set time period, so join in once you get the characters you need and limit break them. Now, check this out. Oh my god, which one is it? Youth from episode Dragon Ball Saga is Which Bomber is it? Awakening. Here's what this character's Zenkai ability targets. This new tag was added recently to Oh, that one. Oh, I guess that's cool. Demon King Piccolo. Which makes it the second new tag to be added this It's like year one of the. She's gonna be like one of the few good bombers in the game, and that's hilarious. Ability to create a wider variety of parties than they could previously. The new tag will be added to existing characters. I think it kind of hurts that she Zenkai buffs Dragon Ball though. Now, so check them out and try to make a party out of the characters with this new tag. You can get Awakening Z power for Bulma from Zenkai rush battles and missions. So now's your chance to Zenkai awaken this character. Zenkai Rush Battle started last month, and if I may, I'd like to take this opportunity to explain once again what kind of event it is. Zenkai Rush Battle is a tower style. Oh, yeah, this is not the new one. I kind of prefer this one. Let's cry it over. Like, it's just Zenkai is just way faster to get, and that's what I prefer. Slot removers and chrono crystals as rewards. You can probably guess from the name, but one of the most important points is that you can also get Rush Medals. 
you can exchange rush medals for memories and fragments needed to awaken equipment along with arts cores needed for arts boost plus many other items. Be sure to exchange rush medals for the items you need. Now, I think you've all waited long enough. What? Time to introduce some new characters. <laughs> new characters. This, this is the Dragon Ball Saga. Come on. A lot of possible characters. I'm Come sure on. Wondering who's in store. So, without Come on. Behold. Come on. Who is it? Let's see. What? Master Roshi? He's jacked! Also, this is finally like the... This is like a... Is this a spark in an extreme? Oh, it's Path to Power Goku. I think. Yeah, this is Path to Power Goku. I think. Android 8? I think we finally have an Android 8 character. But it's the first one. Oh my god, even as the ass. <laughs> the ass jetpack. Oh, that's great. Oh, these animations are actually really cool. Yeah, this is Path to Power. There he is! Path to Power Goku! That's his rush pose. Young Goku's big adventure. Uh, wait, that's a energy ball. Oh no. Oh, that better not be like a uni gauge thing. What? I don't know if I like that, LA. I don't know, I don't know if I like that LF that very much. Kinda bad, <laughs> I'll be honest. What? Uh, stream? There we go. Okay, glitch for a second. With that, we have Master Roshi, Android 8, and Legends Limited Goku Youth from the Dragon Ball The Path to Power movie joining the fight. This campaign marks the first time the characters from the Path to Power are coming to Legends. We've got all the details coming up, but for now, I can say that this Goku has a never-before-seen unique gauge, so... Oh, fuck, I was right. Oh, no. Old Master, Roshi. Master Roshi is a range-type character... Oh, my fucking God. You made him yellow? Comes with tag Dragon Ball. He's in a mare where there's red people going around. Why would you make him yellow? And episode... Sagas from the movie's allies. Oh my god, come on. Base health, so it's very versatile and very oh, he's a health buffer. Okay. Aspects of this Roshi are the special move and ultimate arts. For the special move arts, in addition to greatly reducing the enemy's key, Roshi can also unleash some serious firepower through a boost to special move damage inflicted. The ultimate arts will increase ultimate arts damage inflicted, and some of the damage dealt will also be dealt to enemy members on standby, so you can put some serious pressure on your opponent's entire team. Furthermore, the special arts will give a boost to special move and huh. ultimate arts damage inflicted, as well as draw one special move. Okay, so he goes type so neutral for a few time accounts. That's cool, I guess. <clears throat> using Roshi's patented Kamehameha throughout the fight. But... It's not just firepower that oh, he has a cover change against blast cards? This Weird. Your party in a big way. And he draws blue card. Okay, so this is like a blue card spamming character. Gotcha. And special move damage inflicted will be increased. Your own Dragon Balls will also increase by one, but... Oh my god, he's like an annoying version of Pan's Dragon Ball blue card. This also makes for a really Interesting. good synergy with Goku Youth, who we'll talk about a little bit later. Though usually in a supporting role as a teacher, Roshi's ability to overwhelm opponents with a single powerful attack when things get serious has been faithfully recreated. Next, let's talk about Android 8. Okay, I'm curious on Android 8. 8 is a melee type that is oh my lord, a blue! We got a blue! Android. Let's go! Ability 3 applies to tag Dragon Ball, tag Android, he has a strike cover change. Okay, that's cool. He has way, way less than Roshi, clearly. 
This character has the ability to destroy two random cards. Oh, I like how they show the cover change. It'll also drop the enemy's vanishing gauge to 0% and That's increase cool. their dragon balls by one, but with a limit to how many times these effects activate. Casserole, who was added during the fifth anniversary, can also empty the enemy's vanishing I, I like how they're showing the cover change. And That's cool. Situations where the enemy can't switch, like when they're waiting for substitution counts to take down, Reducing their vanishing also, I like how they didn't get have like they don't have a uh, general commander black, so <laughs> they just used demon king piccolo. Also, an appealing strike attacker that boasts some explosive power thanks to the special arts. For a set amount of time, you know, it's cover change. A massive boost to inflicted damage, decrease both strike and blast arts cost. I love that green card. That green card's so cool. By two levels, and even it's really sick. That nullifies the enemy's special cover changes. Use the special arts to launch a sudden all-out attack. But that's not all. You'll also draw a special arts upon entering the battlefield, making it both extremely powerful and incredibly easy to use. Last to discuss is Legends Limited Goku Youth. Alright, what color is it? Goku Youth is a range type. Ah, he's purple. He could have been any other color, but they made him purple. Are you taking the pits? Three targets allies with tag. Dragon Ball, Tag, Sun Family, or Episode, Sagas from the Moon. Oh, I'm not summoning for this guy. I'm just going to be straight up. ...that activates various effects when you gain Dragon Balls. It's something we've never done before. So, without beating around the bush, let's talk about that in a bit more detail. First off, with this unique gauge, every time... Change, how do you unique gauge? It applies to following effect itself every time... Oh, it's the Dragon Ball stacking... ...and special moves uh, cost. ...character. Plus... That's interesting, actually. It'll recover a ton of health and so when he has a rush... Oh, wait, but you're going to be able to tell when they have a rush, because you'll see him heal. Oh, that's going to be annoying, actually. This alone would be enough to make it a truly powerful unique gauge, but on top of that, one of Goku's unique abilities grants effects for every Dragon Ball you obtain while this character is on the battlefield. I like that. This includes recovering key, Drawing one random card if Goku has three or fewer cards, and nullifying the enemy's special cover changes. The special cover change nullification and arch draw from gaining Dragon Balls mean that gathering even more will become easier, which in turn makes charging the unique gauge a snap. In addition to all this, Goku can be quite resilient and unleash some mm. immense power in the end game. When Goku's uh, so it's like a last man standing unit. Unit. Gotcha. Covers health by 30% will activate. Plus, when using the special arts, unfavorable element factors will be nullified and the vanishing. I was worried that he had like a Gogeta blue thing where like he'd count with blast cards. Uh, he'd count with strike cards when he has rock. He'd count with blast cards when he has scissors, and he'd count with blue cards when he has paper. I thought that'd be the gimmick. This all means that Goku remains a powerful attacker from the start of the battle. I thought his green card would change which stance he'd be in. Honestly, I would have preferred that instead of just Dragon Ball stacking. So, make sure to give it a look. And to coincide with these characters' debuts, the music you heard... Oh, I love this song. I was worried this is going to be like a, a Psyche Fort moment. They'd have show GT. It'll play during battles and several other places, so turn the How's he Goresh use Bardock's intro for like 20 and years? That brings us to the end of today's episode. September kicked off episode campaign, Dragon Ball Saga, but there's lots to look forward to in addition to the new characters and tag. We've got other events and campaigns related to the Dragon Ball Saga prepared for this month beyond what you've seen here today. We're even considering some Dragon Ball Saga style rating match seasons. So, oh. we'll be posting info not covered in today's broadcast, so be sure to follow our social media accounts if you haven't already, and thank you very much to those of you who are. We'll be rolling out campaigns for various episodes, so try to guess what... The music's different, so this isn't the end. Maybe. But be sure to start by enjoying... Oh, no, there's, there's the music. <laughs> ...power of the Dragon Ball Saga campaign. And that is all for today. Thanks for watching. Yay. Please join me again for the next reveals and stuff. Bye bye. Yeah, that's the end. All right. Uh, I mean, I guess that was pretty cool, but yeah, not that good, honestly.